Howdy folks, it's Zach and welcome back to my gaming channel. And really quickly, I want to talk a little bit about the Star Wars Cartel Market weekly sales from October 24th to October 31st. We're almost near the end of this, but there's a couple things about this particular sale I did want to point out and kind of weigh in on a little bit. First and foremost, the Unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber. Now, the last time an item like this went on sale, I recommended not to buy it. And I would have to say, for one single lightsaber, 5,700 cartel coins is very, very steep. Uh, this is a platinum level item, and I understand why they priced it so high. Originally, when this came out in the cartel packs, this was extremely hard to get. People pumped in probably hundreds of dollars of real life money and gambling on trying to get it, and that's one of the things that's kind of kept its price inflated on the cartel market. So seeing this as a direct sale, I can understand why they placed the price so high. That being said, I will say this. If you have more than 5,700 cartel market coins just lying around because you're a subscriber and you haven't been spending them, you know, and they're just sitting there, I would say pick this up in a heartbeat. You know, if those cartel coins are doing anything for you, pick it up right now. On the other hand, if you don't have that level of cartel coins sitting around, you know, unless you're really close to the mark, I don't really see, you know, putting and coughing up all the dough for this. Unless you're already really close to having that a number of coins already, and you just need like five to ten bucks to, to just pop in. It's up to you. Uh, but it's something I did want to weigh in on because it is actually a really cool item. I'll show it in just a sec, but it's something that... You know, because the price is so steep, it's not a hey, you must buy this right away. Where when Shet, when the uh, the Revan Reborn armor set went up, Satil Shan's armor set went up, Zoxin's armor set went up, like all those things were, in my opinion, must buys. You know, find a way but get it because they're so rare, so hard to get, and so cool looking. You can use them on so many characters. They were kind of a must buy. Okay, let's talk about some of these other things too. The Galactic Legends armor pack. I have seen this pack up close and personal, and I would say there's nothing in there really worth having unless you are a Revan purist who must have the original Revan robes from the 1 through 50 level of the game. This isn't Revan's robes from Knights of the Old Republic. You know, that game, they looked a little different. In this game, they kind of redesigned it and tweaked it a little bit to, to give it a little bit more textures and modeling and some other really good stuff. It looks good. It's not as good as the Revan Reborn armor set, though, in my opinion. Uh, if you absolutely must have it, I would wait until this goes on a direct sale to grab it. The only other thing in there that I think is worth having is actually you can hardly see it in the back. And this is the Mission Veil armor set. I actually like that armor set a lot. And it's a silver level item set. It's something you can buy in the cartel market or on a direct sale. Either or, I would say they're worth it. I don't think it's worth spending packs to try to get them though. Uh, last but not least is the direct sale item. Well, I shouldn't say last but not least. I also do want to talk about Section X access really quick. But the Darth Malak armor set, I would actually say this one isn't a must-buy unless you absolutely have to have that droid headpiece, which is, it gives the droid sound effect, and it's that jawline replacement. If that's a must-have for you, then I say go for it. If not, uh, I would say skip it. The only reason being is Darth Malak's armor set is not the coolest armor set out there. Uh, even a lot of the individual pieces don't really all that work all that well, in my opinion. The only piece that I think is really kind of worth having is maybe the jaw piece, but uh, overall, I think it's kind of a bland armor. That's just my opinion. If this was Darth Malgus's armor set, I would say buy it in a heartbeat, because even if you didn't like the whole set, there's pieces out of that set that look really good, most specifically the boots. So that's kind of my take on it. Last but not least, I want to talk about Section X access. Section X had a lot more weight before you could get HK-55 and Knights of the Fallen Empire for free. When all you could get was HK-51 and you had to go through Section X to get it, Section X was a little bit more valuable. However, 187 cartel coins is nothing. Nothing. If you're a subscriber, that's, that's nothing. If you've never done Section X, and you want to go through the HK-51 quest line, it actually is pretty cool, and HK-51 is an awesome companion to have. There's just 
one tiny detail that everybody knows about if you've done it before, which is a hide-and-go-seek to find the HK-51 parts. That can sometimes be a hell of a pain in the butt. So, it's up to you. If you're cool with just having HK-55, awesome. If you want HK-51, definitely go get him. HK-51 is still worth it, in my opinion, because he does have his own unique DPS moveset. Even though you can change your companions to do whatever you want, he and Treek still have unique DPS moves, which are actually still really, really powerful. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the game really quick, and I wanted to show you this lightsaber in action. Alright, so here is just some random Jedi scrub that I did. I hope the quality of this still looks alright. And uh, I went ahead and put those sabers on them. Alright, and that's them with their initial form. I actually think they look really cool. They have a very cool light-up action. Yeah, and the nice thing is a lot of the special whiz-bang lightning that's kind of going up and down the hilts and up the blades, that stays even during cutscenes, which a lot of the regular lightsab lightsabers, that they just don't have that effect. Uh, also, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on my character. Whatever color crystal you have shows through the handles of the lightsaber, which I think is awesome. You know, that's just, it's another little effect that I think is really cool. There's only a few lightsabers that do that, and uh, I think that one's really awesome for having it. Also, let me show you... Sometimes when you change out the color crystals, they don't look as good. And so let me throw these bad boys in there really quick, and I'll show you. So this is with uh, green and blue, and again, still think it looks fantastic. I also have the riot control tuning in there, and that's what's giving it that lightning around the, uh, the hilts, which I also think looks really amazing with this lightsaber. So for me, I had more than enough to, uh, to pick it up just lying around don't regret it for a second because you know I had all that the cartel coins but uh, if you uh, are considering it and you're on the fence about it I do think it's it's worth having if you already have enough for it with some to spare uh, again like I said you can see the color crystals through the the handles which I think is really awesome and uh, again just drawing them out cool effects cool lightsaber they look good as you run very important very swaggy you know, definitely very cool. So, uh, that's it. Uh, also, uh, let me show the Mission Veo set really fast. Okay, so I put uh, I put Mission Veo's outfit on Kira Carson here, and this is actually one of the ones that I really like in this game. I don't usually say that very often about armor sets, but this is definitely one of them. The the chest, the vest. Uh, it's one of the few really cool looking vests in the game. It's got that little R band kind of going on the left hand side. Also, the legs, this is one of the few, I usually like heavy armor looks. This is one of the few pairs of pants and boots that I actually think really work well together, especially on female characters and female tunes. I put this basically on every like Risha, Vet. Uh, it basically, if they used guns in any way, shape, or form and they're a female companion, I probably put this on them as their default. I think it looks amazing. So it's definitely worth considering grabbing. I, I wouldn't say go through the pack for it though. I would say buy it on the cartel market if you like the way it looks. All right, that's all I got for you today, guys. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.